All right, so you have your pantograph. <clears throat> You're gonna take the nut off the bolt <clears throat> that's on the board. This is, you'll have a board that you'll be using uh, and you'll have paper that you can tape to the board. You'll wanna make sure your paper is taped as close to the bolt that you're going to be using from that you can get to. So you'll place your pantograph over the bolt and then put a nut back on the top. You'll wanna make sure that these are tightened enough to keep it <clears throat> in place, but it still should move, okay? Um, when you're using your pointer, I found after using it a while, these pieces would fall. So you can take a nut, place it, just twist it onto the pointer, no big deal, and then you're going to put it in from the bottom. And then that will hold those pieces of wood off the paper, so you can see. All right. If your pointer is in the center and your pencil's on the outside, you'll have a picture here and you will enlarge. If we flipped it and you had the pencil here and you had the paper here, you would reduce what you had here to draw it to here. So we're going to do a little cat face. And you can just tape it on to the board. When you, wherever you put the image that you're going to trace, you could also flip it under here and trace it on the paper if you wanted. So you could have both the small portion and the big portion. But I'm just gonna tape it on top. When you do, you, before you tape it down, you want to touch both sides of your picture and notice where your pencil is and notice where the pointer is and make sure you're okay with everything. If you put this in here, then when I would try to trace, see the pencil would go over the face, and that's not what I want. So just kind of check all around and make sure you're okay with where it is. And once you are, you can tape it down. And you don't have to do the cat face. There's simple stuff like hearts and circles. stuff. So then the next thing you do is just trace carefully over the drawing. Your hand the, on the pointer is what you should be worried about, and that's where your eyes are, is on the pointer. The hand on the pencil is just kind of making sure you'll get the good pencil mark. You don't guide the hand with the pencil, you just hold it. And be careful how you trace, if you don't trace it good, you're not going to get a good picture. Alright, so there we have the face. We can do the ears. So I'm really just pushing with my left hand onto the pointer. So there you have your enlarged cat picture. Color it, decorate it, do whatever you want with it. Well, next class period we'll talk about the ratio of which it's enlarged, which has to do with the map of your pantograph. Uh, another thing I'd like you to do is to, let's see, okay, draw a square, two inches. So two inches, two inches, two inches. Then I want you to trace it right 
and it's bigger. bigger. And then Very you had bigger. two inches, and now you have almost four inches. And we'll talk about that next class period. So you have lots of images. You can draw your own and enlarge it. And again, if you flipped your pointer and you trace your bigger object over here, you will reduce and put your pencil here, you'll have it reduced on this size side. If you want, you're more comfortable with the pantograph on the other side, you can take out the pencil and the pointer, flip it so that your point, this point will now go on this bolt and um, you can loosen this one up. And then flip it over. Tighten it. And then you would place it on this bolt. And you could put your pointer here if that's if you'd rather trace it from this way. Each board will have a bolt on each side, so you can use it um, whichever way you want. All right, that's it.